Hi everyone, Michelle Crafty Servings. And we got Cash here by me. He was getting really anxious sitting here waiting for me to type my stuff in. I hope you come on and say hi, say hi to Cash. He, he was very anxious. He kept putting his arm and grabbing me. So come say hi, let me know you're out there and we're gonna go ahead and get started. So have you seen these in the stores? Um, sometimes, yeah, I know, I know, it's time to go lay down, yeah. Um, <laughs> he wants to, can you see this? <laughs> he wants to, he wants to join in. <laughs> oh yeah, he is a moose, he's a sensitive moose. You see my fan in the background? I know, okay, you gotta go lay down now. You gotta go lay down. All right, um, we, we <laughs> he's, he's being, he's hurting me today. Okay, now you gotta go lay down. No, now you gotta go lay down. Okay, go lay down. Go lay down. That was hurting his claws are so sharp. Oh goodness. All right, let's get going. No, leave my stuff alone. Um. So we got this yarn. You could use almost any kind of skein of yarn. I think even like the long skeins would work good. Oh, I don't think he's a good helper. I mean, he hurts that claw. I can feel that in there. Um, <laughs> yeah, he always wants my attention, which is okay. It is okay, but <laughs> oh man, he when he wants it. So this, I got this, I think at Joanne's. But you know how you sometimes buy extra and you have the extra laying around? That's what we're doing. And we're gonna take this off. You can get, like I said, I think you could use most any skin. I'm just looking if the raw end is out somewhere. I don't see that it is. Because you wanna tuck it in if it is. I don't see that it is. So we're gonna use this. We're gonna use a styrofoam egg. Yeah, Cash is cute. He knows he's cute. <laughs> So we're gonna use the styrofoam egg. And what I'm gonna do, and we're also, so we're making a pumpkin. This is gonna be really quick um, and easy and cute. So I've got these stems. Um, let's see, I got I got two stems. Maybe I'll, I'll use this stem. Um, and all I'm gonna do, so this is gonna be, I'm gonna put the fatter down to the bottom. I'm just gonna make like a little indentation in here. Just because I'm gonna have to glue it in. So it's not gonna, you're not going to get a lot, you know, real deep in, unless you have um, a stick that doesn't have that on, but I just want to cut it out of my tree. I've got one more here that doesn't have the extra, oh, I, I meant to grab a bag, and I don't have my bag. Um, and all I'm going to do is stick that down in there. All right, we, we don't want to push out the bottom, so I'm going to stick that in. And you're going to see the top. You will see that, but it'll. we're gonna close that up. So, jute, my famous jute that I always use. This is gonna be really cute, really cute, I think. I know, I, I practiced before, but I only just did this part. I didn't do the decorating on it. So I'll finish decorating that one too. So, all right, so I'm gonna leave this up taller because I'm gonna be using this as my top um, to twist. now. It might take a little bit to get the hang of it and I'll probably hold it against me to do it, but I'm gonna be holding that up and I'm just gonna wrap this around the bottom and then I'm gonna make just a, a, a twist. So I'm gonna do um, two more on the side. So we got one in half, so it'll be like in thirds. So we're gonna, and so I'm, that top one, when I bring that around, I just, I hope you can see what I'm doing. So I'm holding that up and then I'm gonna turn it a little bit because that's what's holding that in place on top. Okay, and then we're gonna do this last one yet. Cut it off. I think I need a sharper scissor. All right, so I said, I just, oops. Get that back where it belongs. I'll show you after I tie it. So then you still have that long one up here and you've got this last one that you cut off and we're gonna tie that. Did y'all get that? 
did you understand what I did? Is that a boiled egg? Oh, I hope not. It's a styrofoam egg. Yeah, it's styrofoam. My boiled egg would break. All right, so did you catch what it is or do you need me to do it again before I tie it? All I did was twist it each time around the end that I had because that's what's holding it in place on top. All right, so, and you can see how cute that is. I said, this is gonna be quick and easy. So we just tie that and you can see it's already looking like a pumpkin. I'm gonna untwist this jute. If you don't want the jute to show, you don't need to do it. All right, you got it. Yeah, it's really, you just use that string to, and you twist each turn because that string is holding it up, up here. Now you still see that egg a little bit, but it'll be covered. And there's all kinds of things you can use to decorate on here. So, okay, all I did was untwist that jute. That's already cute. Let's just do a little decorating. Uh, this is not a long live. Um, okay, so we're gonna take this and put this back in here. Um, yeah, we're gonna do that right away. thought my glue gun wasn't working. I need another glue stick. Okay. And I'm just gonna hold that in place. And that's why I made that little indentation in there. So yeah, it's, all right. Isn't that cute already? And you can make it a shorter stick if you want, but my cutter wasn't very good. You could use one of those wimpy, limpy stems that I did with the jute, too. That would be cute. All right, different ways to decorate it. Now, I've got, let me let me show you. I've got this one here, too. See, I did that with the, the same thing, but only a different color. Isn't that cute, too? Let's, let's do both of them. Now, this one, I did not make an indentation. I'm going to try and do that right now. But it also has the egg in it. Egg just helps it hold its shape. All right, so. I think if you have the indentation, it stays in there a little better. All right, so these are the leaves I chose. The lamb's, the lamb's ear, is that what it's called? Lamb's ear? Um, these are from lamb's ear. Yep, I got these from Walmart. And they're actually really, really nice ones. I made a pumpkin with orange crochet thread still on its holder. Hard to explain every turn. Oh, I bet you that's cute. All right, so I'm just gonna take, I'm trying to think if I'm gonna do one leaf at a time. Maybe here I'll do two. I'm not sure if this is, oh, it's not wire. I can just pop it off. <laughs> that works. So we're gonna put that in here and I might put one more I just like the color it's so soft and pretty um, and I think we're gonna do a large one too that one went good um, let's see there I think we'll be good okay the other thing we're gonna use is some raffia you could use Spanish moss or something the only reason why I decided not to use the Spanish moss is I don't want to get that down on the yarn once you get on the yard you're gonna be picking it off all day so I've just got a bag with some raffia in here that's why I chose the raffia you know I like messy raffia anyhow I think we're gonna you know I think the easiest way is I'm gonna just keep it messy again Pull out another piece. I'm just trying to think of the easiest way. You know what, I'm gonna do it as a bow. I'm gonna do it as a bow. Okay, so my I do messy raffia bows all the time. I'll just sort of pull the ends in. I actually, Thinking to myself here, sorry about that. 
Yeah, I love the lambs here too. It really is, and it's so pretty. This one is really pretty. Um, some of it isn't always the prettiest, and but this one is. All right, so I'm just doing this bowl. I'm almost debating. I really, really like that though. I like that in there. And I'm gonna do it on, on both, just to make them similar. I'm almost debating on really, I'm really going to mess this up so that I think, you could almost put it underneath the stem. You, you could do that. I probably could still do that on this one. So this one we're gonna do, but if you really mess it up, look at it's really turning out cute. I think that we're gonna do that. We're gonna add that on there. Thanks for the hearts. It's so easy, right? It's so easy. And we'll just add um, a little more decoration on there. Let's just do a little roughy on this one. Now this one, I think I'm, let's see. I was debating, should I pull that stem off? But now that I have it glued on there, I think we'll leave it. So I just grab raffia and twist it. That's all I do for my, and then just really make it messy. So we'll tie that. I really have lambs here in my yard. You do, Patricia. I've never grown that. I didn't realize. They grow a purple flowers too. Oh gosh, I didn't know that either. Hi, Shelly. Yeah, it was really easy. I wish this was a skein of yarn, so it was the the shorter kind of skein. But I think you could get away with doing. They'd be maybe taller ones. Um, I think you could get away with doing them. All right. So I'm just gonna really mess this one up too. Put that one in on here and then that gives the effect of the moss like i said i i would like spanish moss on here oh gosh i <laughs> i thought there was a bug that just came flying across my table it was these pieces of styrofoam that when all of a sudden started rolling across my table because of the fan did you see me jump oh my gosh hi kimberly yeah, Tracy, I think it's cute. All right, so, and all oh, these are just so cute, and I'll show you. I've got one thing that we'll set it on just to make it cute. You could put it on the pedestals or anything like that, too. All right, so I'm just going to add in this lamb's ear now. You know, I didn't make that wimpy, um, <laughs> wimpy stem like I did the other day, the limpy stem. Um, but this one almost is limpy because I didn't get the hole in the styrofoam. <laughs> That's all right. Okay, we got that. And we're gonna add, you know what? So I'm gonna add the leaves to this, but I have one more, I have, okay, so you could do, if you don't have stems in your yard, let me give you other ideas. You could do cork. Now, if you wanted, you could add, like this one you could, Look at how cute that is. Add a little pine cone to it. Isn't that cute? Um, but I got two things to add, one on each one, I think. So this was Hobby Lobby in the fall section. I love these things. Um, they're just these little picks. If I can pick them apart. I'm just using one of these. Man, that stuff. Okay, if I can get it up high here. <laughs> All right, I guess I'll cut it off where it is. I don't need the whole stem anyhow, but it was being difficult. Okay, I think we're going to stick this in like this. I just want to see. And I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave that on there. I think that's actually really cute. We're gonna stick this in maybe opposite side of these leaves. I'm put a little glue and then I'm gonna stick it down in that styrofoam too. If I can get it down in there. There we go. Is that cute? 
cute. And then we'll add, we'll do this. This one won't have a button. We'll add a little pine cone on here. So let's add, you know what? Um, we might add, so, and you can always add, look at, you could add, you know, little flowers, little sunflower, if you like sunflower. I think, um, okay, we got the pine cone. I was gonna add the pine cone with the button, but I don't think so. There's leaf, oh, that's really cute. Look at this leaf button. I might do that on the other one though. Look at that leaf button. That's on the other one. Isn't that cute? All right, I think we're gonna stick with this one. We're just gonna do the pine cone. Yeah, isn't that cute? And I don't know if it's even really a feather, but speaking of feathers, that's what I'm putting on the other one. Okay, so we're just gonna add the pine cone. Now you could add more. I only have the one up here. Oh, I can't decide where I'm on, jumping in the shower. Hi, Lou, ooh, dental appointment. All right, so there's one. Easy, quick, right? Um, if now let's do this one so i already had that this is just really really cute i love this leaf can you see that that's in the button jar that i get from walmart that's gonna be here so that's gonna be on the front of there so you see that um okay so the other thing so i'm just trying to piece it together okay i used these picks last week these are feathers you get this from hobby lobby for 99 cents and I thought that would be really, really cute in here also as just something, instead of doing the tendrils, now you certainly can do tendrils on here yet, use wire, twist it, but won't this be cute? So we're going to, we don't need this as long either. But I'm gonna add this in here. Okay, that's gonna go in the styrofoam too. I'll add a little glue just to keep it in place. These come in all different colors. Um, they have like a yellow, um, they had like a lighter brown, brown, like sort of like a brownish orange. Isn't that just really, really cute? That adds another whole dimension to it. Um, I don't even know, yeah, I think I might, let's see. I'm just looking to see if I want a leaf on here because I'm using this wood leaf. I don't know that I want that leaf on there now though. The only reason why I put the leaf on is that it would blend in with this, that it would sort of come together with this one. But I think, let's just see. Let me just do a little bit smaller leaves and see if they work. Hi Becky, how are you? Maybe add just a twig of it. Maybe these littler ones would be cute, but I still want, let's see. I'm just sort of playing with this. So we could do something like that, and that just adds. So you could see that, and then we add that button on there. What do you think? I think that green maybe works with it. What do you think? Should we add this green one in? This was a skein of yarn for the Pumpkin Mary. It was one of those round sort of skeins and we put a, a styrofoam egg in it. And that's where I held it together. So should I put that? I think I think I could do that and I'll just have it up this way a little bit. I don't want it to cover that other leaf I'm adding in. Let's just add a little bit of glue in there. I like that I like that they're littler. The big ones were too much. Yeah, you'll have to march. I did this one too. Yeah, okay, so let's just add this on. And then honestly, I think we're done. I, I really think we're done. Um, oh gosh, that's gonna be cute. I'm gonna put it on and then I'll show you up close. And then we're done. So these are, and you could get these in quite a few different colors, These this yarn. And honestly, like I said, if you have a, or a skein of yarn, 
um, that's left over from a project, that's what you can use. I think even the taller skeins would work. You would just have a taller one and you would tie it down. Um, I used a styrofoam egg in here. You could use a styrofoam ball. You could um, maybe wrap it around. If you have yarn that's not in a skein anymore, wrap it around. But isn't that just really cute? I love it with that leaf. And this was the other one. And you'll see, so the other thing you can do then, now to display it, I only have one thing to display it on, but it would be so cute. Um, so on the table, like on a centerpiece, let me just show you. So you see these a lot of places. You can also, you know, probably make your own. You can get, you get some pips. It would take a little bit to make your own. But this one I got at a little, there's a little specialty store in a city near me um, that I love going in. And uh, they have, you know, a lot of this kind of stuff. And so look at how cute that is. So what if you put this, when you, you put it on like a little centerpiece or like on a little burlap, and let me just see if, if I can put it on something so you can see how that would look. Look at how cute that would look on a table, like on a doily or something. Wouldn't that be really, really cute? But um, no, I think this just turned out adorable. This would look that, you know, like I said, these things you can get a lot of places, but is that not really cute for a table display? All right, this is what we got again. And so, y'all, thanks for coming on with me and we'll see you soon.